Have you ever wondered how to create a volumetric fog effect and you don't know where to start? If so, then you are at the right place. Alright, now what is a volumetric effect? A simplest way to explain this is a 3D effect that exists within a specified bounding box or volume, hence the term volumetric. Alright, for the tutorial, I will be using Godot 4.3 and this video will serve as an introduction for Godot's fog shader type. Let's get started. Alright, to work with volumetric fog shaders, the very first thing I need is, in the world environment node, I have to enable this volumetric fog. And suddenly, my entire scene is filled with fog. Now here, I have bunch of settings to control the global fog, but I want to create the fog within a specified area. For that, I will set this density to 0. Then I will create a new node called fog volume. By default, you will have this box shape. But there are other shapes as well. Then I will adjust the volume size. Okay, let me quickly create a shader. Make sure you select the mode fog and I will call it fog. Then let me quickly create a material for our shader. Then in the fog volume nodes material slot, I will assign the material. In the shader, I will have this fog processor which is called for every froxel. Think of them as 3D pixels. Then I will get rid of the comments. Now here we have three output variables, albedo, a diffuse color for our fog. Then there is emission, a self-emissive color. Now I have set the albedo to white but I cannot see anything in my scene. That is because I haven't set the density of our fog. Density is a float value. The higher the density, thicker the fog. And now I can see the fog within my volume. Then there are some predefined input variables that you can use within fog processor. First is a world position. It will give you a position of each froxel in world space. Then there is object position. This is the position of our fog volume in the world space. Then there is size, which will give you the size of our fog volume. Then there is UVW. This is basically UV coordinates, but it has a third component. So think of it as a 3D UVs. Lastly, you will have SDF, which stands for sign distance field. For more in-depth explanation, you should check out my ray marching series, but a TLDR it will return the closest distance from any given point to the volume surface. If the point is outside the volume, SDF will be positive. If the point is inside the volume, SDF will be negative. And on the volume edge, it will be zero. SDF is used to calculate this fall off at the edges of the volume. Godot has some default calculation going on. But if I just define the SDF, the calculation will be overridden. Alright, with this knowledge, let's create a snowy blizzard effect as an example. First, let's create a uniform to set the density from the inspector. Then I want a noise texture. Here you can sample the 3D texture as well, but I will use a 2D texture. So, uniform, sampler 2D, noise texture, and one more uniform to scale the texture. Then in the inspector, I will quickly set up a 2D texture, but you can of course experiment here. Then let's sample the texture here. Float noise equals texture, noise texture. Then I want to sample it on XZ plane, so UVW.XZ. Then multiply it with noise scale. And then take any single channel. Then in the density, I will assign the noise and multiply it with my uniform density. And for now, let's set the color to white. Now my fog is very blurry, so I will go to project settings. Make sure advanced setting is on. Then in the rendering section, go to environment. Here find the volumetric fog. And I will set the volume size to 128. Now a word of warning, the higher the volume size, the more performance intensive your shader will become. Alright, now my noise is basically stretched across the y-axis. 
Now I want to keep the full density at the bottom of my volume and at the top I want the noise texture. For that in the shader I will use a mix function so mix of one and noise and uvw.y. Mix function will return one if uvw's y is zero returns noise if this is one and for any value between zero to one it will interpolate between these two. Okay, I want to control the blend, so I will create a new uniform. And multiply it with UVW's Y. Now this fog can also interact with light. Let me add a new Omni light. I will give it some bluish color. And let's increase the volumetric fog energy a bit. Now I can further distort this noise as I've done in water prison video. So let me create a new function to sample the texture. Then it will take UV as an input. Then sample the texture here and return any single channel. Then here I will take this and put it in a new variable. Now I also want to pan the noise so I will add the time. Then here call our function and nothing happens. That's because I have to explicitly set this noise texture as repeatable so simply hint repeat enable. And I have a scrolling noise. I can further distort it by doing noise of UV plus noise of UV. Now let's adjust the parameters. And I have this blizzard effect. Now a cool thing is this density can also be negative so you can subtract the density from another volume. I've gone ahead and created a new fog volume with negative density and if I put it on top of my blizzard effect, it will subtract the density and I will have no fog at the intersection. Pretty cool. Okay, this is all cool, but what about practical use case? Well, I'm in the middle of creating a nice tutorial for just that, so keep an eye out and I will see you there.